Flip flops, fireflies, 4th of July, fresh fruit, so much to love about sweet summertime. My personal favorite time of the year. It is reason for celebration, and Jenna Coles is throwing a summertime party yeah. this midday. We love all the decoration you got here, a lot of pink, a lot of summery looking pink stuff. Pink is my favorite color, and pink just reminds me of summer. Agreed. So. During summer, it's really hot and you need to stay hydrated, but we're not going to settle for boring water. No. We are going to make flavored water with cucumbers and strawberries. Nice. So this is really good. You can have one of these mason jars and okay. I'll take one over here. We're just going to take some cucumber slices and some strawberries to get your water very flavorful. You know, this is a good way to get people to drink water that yeah. really don't like to because it is adding that good flavor. Mm -hmm. And my dad doesn't even like cucumbers, but he loves cucumber water. Yeah. So it's a great for like, if you don't like cucumbers, it tastes amazing. Sure, it's a little more muted taste in the mm -hmm. water, right? Yeah, and then you just add some strawberries or you could add your favorite fruit, favorite vegetable, whatever you want your water to taste like. And here we have it. Yeah. Super duper cute. I'm gonna take, uh, no yellow straw because it just looks like summer and then we have this cute little umbrella Aww. stick it in there and here you have your flavored water how fun you can make this the night before pop it in the fridge the next day you have a super flavorful yummy water that you can take with you to work or school whatever you want to do and this nice. is super cute this is way more fun than just drinking like you said a bottle yeah. of water all right we're gonna scoot nice. this over here all right Keeping the cucumber theme with cucumber appetizers. Okay, this looks nice. All right, so we have one block, eight ounces of cream cheese, two tablespoons of mayo, two teaspoons of ranch, and a teaspoon of dill and a pinch of salt. So if you want to help me add these ingredients sure. in, this is going to make a creamy filling for our crispy, delicious cucumbers. Does this go in yes, there? This is does. the ranch dressing mix? Yes, it's gonna add a good flavor and it's gonna make it creamier. Pinch of salt. And our cream cheese is softened so it'll help us mix. Oh yeah, it's important to do that. Mm -hmm. It's nice and creamy. And this is gonna go in our cucumbers. I love the way you've hollowed out these little cucumbers. Yeah, you just do that with a melon baller. It's oh, super okay. simple. These are right. a handy little kitchen tool to have around. It really is. All right, this is all mixed up. Once you have that mixed up, you're going to put it in a piping bag. If you don't have piping bags, you can use a little Ziploc bag. And we're going to take our cucumbers, put them in front of us, and I'm just going to show you how to pipe some in. Just You yeah. make that look so pretty. What a nice presentation. It's adorable. It kind of wants to stick to me. Very nice. All right. To ball it, you, melon ball, you just take it, you put your in, you go around. Although, oh, geez. Hello. <laughs> I'm trying to see. See, if, be sure not I to drop to get it that far before I drop something. So. Be, be sure not to drop it. Be extra careful with it. All right, here you go. It's hollowed out. We're gonna set that cucumber down, and those make for great snacks. I was gonna say, can I just eat this yeah. little guy right here? Yeah, go ahead. I love that part of the cucumber. It's so good. Very good. All right, and here you have it. They're nice almost job. done. Not quite. We Ooh. have to take these little great tomato halves and stick them in. How cute! Voila! Is that? These are so adorable. You can that serve them at darling. a party party, summer party, or a picnic, whatever you want to do. How Ta -da. cute. I've never seen anything like that before. You come up with the neatest, most creative <laughs> stuff. Thank you. Including this one right here. Or we'll do that when we come back. One okay. Soon. All right, we're going to go to break. We're going to come back. We're making watermelon pizza and also talking about Jenna's new pimento cheese venture when we come back. Super excited. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Back now with Jenna Coles, who has apparently been reading my diary and knows that my favorite thing <laughs> in the whole wide world is pimento cheese. She has perfected her own pimento cheese recipe, and you're even being so kind and gracious as to share it with us. It is a great recipe. It's super duper simple. But first, we have to talk about this watermelon we pizza. We promised we would do the watermelon pizza. Look how beautiful this is. And people, I know they have something in their mind when they think watermelon pizza, but it's a little different than what you yeah. think it is, right? Some people think, like, we're going to put watermelon on a pizza. That is not what we're going to do. We are going to take a watermelon and cut it where there's a round shape, cut it into however big slices you want. I cut it into eights, take some feta, sprinkle it on, then we have this balsamic reduction that I made. It is super thick. It's so satisfying to watch. I don't know why I love it. It's ooey gooey. It, it is. looks like honey. It does look like honey. Show us to the camera. It's like molasses. Again. So that's a balsamic reduction. Mm -hmm. You just put it over a pan, 
on the stove. You might want to watch it because it will get thick on you like that. Yes, okay. So just drizzle that over and then top it with some mint leaves and bam, you are good to go. That you have so a watermelon pretty. pizza. That is so pretty and really not yeah. bad for you at all. I mean, oh, no. watermelon is so good for you. It's so hydrating. The feta pairs perfectly with the reduction and the watermelon. It just all comes together and it's so good. So I good. Love it. Really the kind of pizza we want when it's hot outside. Yeah. We want something cold like that. Very nice. All right, so now to the pimento cheese. Mm -hmm. All right, we have one cup of smoked Gouda and both of these cheeses are from Lost River Creamery in Russellville, Hopkinsville Road, Russellville, Kentucky. I've got to go there. I love a good cheese shop. Check so them out. They are amazing. I love this cheese. Greatest this one is one cup of cave aged cheddar. I love the cheddar cheese. It is so delicious. And the smoke in the Gouda is going to take our cheese up to the next level. Absolutely. Four ounces of softened cream cheese, and I need a spatula to help me get this out. Come on. There you go. Two green onions for some color. This is going to add freshness. Four ounces of pimentos. Ah, they're packed These in there good. Are being stubborn. Yeah, I packed them in there good. You have so much in your pimento cheese. Well, it, so it'll make things. it. It'll make it delicious. Yes, that's so good. Bacon. How can you go bacon. wrong with bacon? This is a surprise ingredient. I don't think I've had bacon and pimento cheese before. One fourth a cup of chopped bacon, and now we're just gonna kind of mix this lightly. Make sure not to mutilate it. All right, and over here we have a fourth a cup of mayo. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I don't know how to say that. You said it way better than I could. I'm not repeating and it. one teaspoon of garlic powder. And if you just want to pour those into the mayo sure. and mix that up, it's going to make a creamy, really make our pimento cheese creamy, more creamy than it is because that cream cheese is softened, but it is not yet. You can go ahead and whisk okay. that. Woo! <laughs> it's coming out it's at us. Run around. All right, and just whisk it until it's nice and combined. Look at that. Amazing job. You're, You're impressed with my whisking. It's perfect. All right, now we're going to take this little guy and help us get this out because I don't know if that whisk will be very helpful. Here we go. Get all this goodness into our pimento cheese. Going to give it great flavors and just mix this up. Do you like for it to refrigerate for a little while before you eat it or do you eat it right away? You can do it either way. If you refrigerate it, it'll give it, it'll make the flavors marry together and it'll be so good. But it's good right now. You can go ahead and sure. eat it. I love what you've done with yours today. You toasted it. Oh, yeah. I put it on a grilled cheese. That grilled cheese, if you do not want to make this recipe at home, oh it is gosh. available for purchase at Lost River Creamery in Hopkinsville, on Hopkinsville Road in Russellville, Kentucky. It is so good. Just ask for the Minner Cheese Delight. Minner Cheese Delight, the Genicole Special. I am so there. It looks amazing. Thank you. You always do such an awesome job for Thanks us. Thanks for having me. It's a you lot of fun. You're having a good summer. I had the amazing summer. Good. We're going to make a bunch of summer recipes on Jenna's Kitchen for YouTube. And go check them out. We'll do it. Yay. You can find Jenna's Minner Cheese Delight at Lost River Creamery in Russellville, a percentage of all sandwich sales. Go to Jenna's Kitchen. You can find her online at jennaskitchen.org. Also watch her cooking tutorials at youtube.com slash jennaskitchen.